Hey, it's Coolio. If you don't know, it is time for a new long run. And uh, the winner of the poll that I had up since the last uh, series ended, uh, well, first of all, the poll itself was looks like DOS, or is it? And looks like Ness, or is it? And uh, DOS won. So what is going to happen with that? Well, the or is it part is kind of the um, the big thing here. We're not actually uh, in DOS for this one, but we are using something that has been around since the DOS since the DOS ages, since I believe 1994, if I'm not mistaken. And that is Megazoox, which is something that has actually been completely lacking from this era of Let's Play the World. I have yet to play a Megazooks game for um, this, uh, I I guess, era is the best term here for Let's Play the World Live. Also, hi, Terry, and how are you doing? Um, so anyone who is not familiar with Megazooks, um, it is a game creation system that... Um, basically, you can make your own games, you have uh, all sorts of objects that you can put in and uh, you can use all of those objects or you can make a robot that uh, has some sort of programming uh, that you can make it do all sorts of things. So now we have ammo we can shoot in every direction, you know, whatever. Um, also, I'm noticing that did not make any sound whatsoever, so hopefully this works. Oh, because I don't have that on. Okay. I've made a bunch of stuff in it. These are all uh, projects that I have made for what's called BKZX or Blitzkrieg Zooks. Um, I think this one here in particular. Um, actually won the uh, BKZX that I submitted it to. It's a very simple uh, puzzle game. Basically, I had about two hours to uh, make this game. So basically, the uh, object of this particular game is uh, connect the uh, connect the dots, basically. Green goes to green. Uh, green goes to green, red goes to red. Uh, try to avoid the entire board filling up. And you can also press space to change the direction of everything on the field. This is just an example of one thing that you can do in Megazooks in the space of just, you know, two hours. This is not the actual playthrough we're doing here, but uh, well, we'll see. I'll just play through this one round here and see how it goes. The point is to get the sleep level to 100 and avoid it getting to zero, prefer preferably before the turns gets to 300. And also before, you know, the board fills up. Right now, things are not lining up for me here. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do a shift. My shift is still charging. The, the longer that you go without making a match, um, the more stuff is going to, you know, fill up on the board whenever you do. Wow, this ain't going too great. There we go. So 
This particular song, I don't remember what the song is, but I know I I just kind of nabbed it because I, I like to um, basically turn on uh, the random player on uh, the mod archive and just if I hear a song that comes up during my session that seems to fit the theme, then uh, I'll just grab that and use it basically. It's, it's a cheap little free game, so don't particularly feel terrible about just using music. Wow, oh, um, I don't think I'm winning this one, actually. I had a practice run before we started here, and uh, it went a lot better than this. Oh, that's it. Sleep level descended below zero, and we had insomnia, which was the theme for this uh, Blitzkrieg Zooks. Anyway, we're not here to play Dream Sequence. Um, now, I did have a bit of inspiration from the DOS theme in picking a game because of, of course there are hundreds and hundreds of games that are available for the Megazix platform. You can go to di digitalmzx.com and uh, browse the um, library for yourself if you want to, and you can also play any of these games in browser. I just pressed P and I didn't need to. Um, but what we are going to be actually playing for this does have some bearing in classic DOS gaming. It's a game by Thodu, also known as The Deep Row. It is called Any Time. Oh my goodness, some some of these um some of these intros go on for a little too long. Commander Keen, Heroes Lost. Let's, Let's get this started. And before we do, I will mention that this was the uh, Game of the Year 2012 Best Soundtrack and Best Story, so should be in for a pretty good time however obviously this is not on how long to beat i have no idea how long this is going to take i'm pretty sure it's going to take more than a session it might only take two i don't know we'll find out together 20 years ago billy uh, billy blaze was a child who lived a normal child's life as normal as a child with an iq of 314 is anyway he went to school, he had to eat his vegetables, and he went to bed every night at 8 o'clock. But 20 years ago, Billy was also Commander Keen, Defender of the Galaxy. He was responsible for saving the Earth from the Vorticon invasion, saving the Keepers of the Oracle, saving the galaxy from the Omegamatic Galaxy Exploder, he even saved his babysitter. But in the space of a single week, Commander Keen went from being a hero to being a recluse. It all started when the Vorticon High Commander of the New Order was assassinated. Only days after their race was freed from the slavery of the Grand Intellect, Keen's longtime nemesis. Also, hey, Alex. Commander Keen, however, was busy fighting the Grand Intellect's forces in the attempt to stop the Universal Toaster from destroying reality itself. However, there was no Universal Toaster. There was only Mortimer McMire trying, to be to, trying his best to get Billy Blaze killed. Who would want to end reality anyway? Billy decided to, then to take McMire into custody, implicating him as the assassin of the Vorticon High Commander. 
with the Mortimer McMeyer, the much-feared grand intellect behind, mar behind bars with a life sentence for the assassination, he was free to leave the security of the galaxy with the intergalactic police of the planet, planet Vicknix and go home to perhaps live a, a normal life. But that, of course, is where our story begins. Billy, 18 years later, 18 years after putting McMire in jail, 18 years after the assassination of the Vorkon High Commander, and 18 years since Commander Keen was last called upon to save the universe, was busy with school. All the universe, once again, began tearing itself apart. Shikati Prime. Sir, the Grand Intellect is hailing us. Hmm. We have to tell him. But, but Highness, what will he do to us? He's a monster, he's... Put him on the screen. Very well, sir. Good evening, High Chancellor. I hope this communication finds you well. Good evening to you as well, Ganelik. You found me concerned. And what concern would that be? Kenelik, what you've asked for of us, it's... I can't. I... You idiot, Shikati, tell me already! I... I will not be party to something that could destabilize the universe just so Mortimer McMire can have his revenge on Commander Keen. If you killed me for saying as much, so be it. You fool. You idiot! You do not use my name. You are not worthy of it. Give me the bioweapon and thank your god or whatever you believe that I don't just kill you just now. I halted research of the... of the... Ah. I halted research of your bioweapon, Gedalek. There is no bioweapon. You raging moron! I was never going to use it on any large scale. This is just a, smart, a small piece of my plan. It should be easier. Why are you wasting my time, Shikati moron? You asked for a weapon, Ganelik. A weapon you plan to use to use to destroy an entire world. It will have nothing to do with it. You have no idea my plans. You cannot see what I see. Goodbye, High Chancellor. Hey, J. Pop, how you doing? What? What now, High Chancellor? I don't know, son. Use directions to move, space to interact with objects, control to cancel out of any menu, F1 for the help menu. Okay, so, help menu is just a list of controls. Console command list? That's the one. Control to cancel. Oh boy, that's a lot of stuff. I'm sure we'll be able to, fi to figure it out. Hopefully we'll be able to figure it out. We'll we'll see. Uh, also, I cancel all that. Bunch of stuff about battling weapon attack, enemies and status defenses. Looks like there's only two statuses, three statuses. I know how to count. I I swear. All statuses can be can be remedied with potions or vit uh, vitonic. You can only heal the dead out of that. Okay, good to know. Uh, I think I might have glitched it out there. Oh, slightly. You re me for commands. <laughs> okay, so, bunch of cheats. Got it. Okay, and here's our save screen. to load. Okay. What other controls were there? I think that's about it. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, take a look around, I guess. 
can't interact with that door over there. Kill something. It's kind of nothing. Oh, hey. It's a beam with bacon mega rocket. Which we apparently can't interact with. Well, good to know that this this thing is still uh, around and hopefully kicking. I imagine we're going to need it. How's it hanging, Billy? How's it going, Billy? Is the lab work panning out? This is our dorm. We still have the Martian York from the first game. The Golden V, the Vorticon's high highest honor. I remember getting this thing right after taking out Mortimer McMyo's mind control device. I should probably clean it more often. like a uh, note I left myself? Oh man, I'm supposed to be at the lab right now. I just hate it when I leave myself notes that I don't remember. Well, naturally, I'm going to take a look around. We don't wear a football helmet, nerd. Well, that sure does get stuffy. Too bad you have to. Too bad every time you leave, you have to go through decon to get back in. Oh my, it just seems so bright out here after being in that lab so long. Ugh, decon. I don't I don't know why we have to do this every time we come in here. It makes me feel weird. Oh man, that was a long day. At least I think it was. What was I doing? I mean, I feel like I've been working all night. What do you think, Spot? Mm, let me sleep, Billy. Man, Spot, this whole quarter has been like a weird deja vu. It's gotta mean something's going on. I should find my computer wrist and investigate the lab. Well, apparently it's not in the drawer. Now, it seems to me that if it's not in the drawer, it's probably in the Mega Rocket. Lying out in the open for no reason. Okay. Um, why didn't I see this last time I was out? I was out here. How did I miss that? Something weird is going on. I can't even remember the last time I was out here. Man, I really haven't used this thing in a while. I haven't really needed to save the universe much either. I don't remember. I need to press Enter to access the menu. And as with the actual Commander Keen games, the uh, computer, the wrist computer has a mini game in it. Oh, okay. It's a tiny pixel. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of bouncing around. That's what I'm controlling. Oh.
is basically just get to get from the top left to the bottom right as fast as possible. I'm trying to beat the uh, the time bar there. Oh geez, I wonder how many levels this has. Also kind of unfortunate that uh, there is uh, no like sound or anything. That'd be nice to have. I think that's about as far as I'm going to make it. Oh geez. Well, that's Pig's Race everyone. So apparently we have a Packer solvent. Um, and then we also have the uh, the stunner here. The neural stunner. But I don't know what that battery is. I, I don't know if that's, if that's something we want to use right now. Also, hang on. We start at level 6. Interesting. Okay, so that's our uh, that's our our primitive uh I'll probably equip myself. Okay. But apparently I didn't have the stuff equipped and probably I should have been doing that. There we go. It was not clear if I had it equipped or not. And I guess I probably need to equip this battery too. It's time to find out what's going on in the lab. Hello, Billy. What the? Who was that? Who's out there? We've been watching you, Billy. It's a good idea for us to keep an eye on those as troublesome as you as you've been, don't you think, Billy? Or should I say, Commander Keen? Who are you? How do you know who I am? The whole galaxy knows who Commander Keen is. We just know who else he is. Billy Blaze, Boy Genius, IQ of 314. We didn't pick this school at random. We need you, Billy. We need your mind. But what have I been doing in that lab? Too bad you won't be around long enough to find out. Oh, here we go. Uh. Oh, yes, we're shooting. Uh. Okay, that's an interesting. Okay, so it's active time for one thing. I can fire shot and then I have to like press the button again like as accurately as possible like inside of that little zone there. I guess there's also the physical. I don't know if that's any different. Oh, and it flips between hit and miss. Interesting. So this is all very timing based. Now, worth mentioning that I have played a slight amount of this game before. Um, there was a project that I did some time ago called 365 Days of Megazoots, and although I uh, ended up having to cancel... Oh, shoot. Ended up having to cancel that project uh, prematurely. Um, this is one of the games that I discovered uh, while I was um, yeah. while I was uh, going through. 
and this seemed really interesting and I was like, I need to play this at some point and then I never really got to. So that's what we're doing now. And of course, as, as a result, I do not remember like anything about this game. All right, we found a couple of uh, potions and possibly a weapon upgrade. I don't know if it's an upgrade. Not sure. Whoever these guys are, they know I'm onto them. There's no way I'm getting through the front door now. I'm gonna get to get into that lab. Well, that's one way. <laughs> There are secret drones any everywhere. Guess getting to that lab isn't gonna get any easier. Potion one. Let's see if um is this any different than the one I have? So eight, ten, five, and five. 8, 10, 5, and 5. Also, there are these slots, and I'm not really sure what this is. I guess we'll find out later. Probably heal up, though. Because that fight was a little rough. We got random fights. Uh, fire. Uh, light. I can see a slight problem here is like we don't have a whole lot uh, a whole lot of battery to work with right now and I'm not really sure how common those are. I imagine they're decently pretty common but like it's hard to tell right now. I'm gonna need to use a zappy zap even though I'm almost out of battery right here. Well, then again, this guy is probably nearly... There we go. Big old crit will do it. Well, that wasn't helpful. Uh, try to not die. Nope. How about ice? Hey, there we go. Only problem is now we're out of, uh, now we're out of battery. Well, we did level up. And is this one of those games that allows you to... that uh, restores your health in you? No? Well, that's unfortunate. Nope. We found Ack Plus. What does that mean? Is that something to put into one of these slots? Don't know. Okay, this is a use item. Gotcha. Ah.
Okay, these guys aren't actually that tough. The spider tanks should be taken out first, is what I'm getting from this. And a good hit will take them out. That was not a good enough hit. There we go. Wait, did that give me no experience? What? That's... that's rude. A charger one. Oh, I see. So I charged my battery. What does my accuracy look like right now? Look minus one accuracy one. So I can use... I, I guess I can use the act plus to decrease my luck by two, which is probably uh, a chance to crit, while increasing my accuracy by three. A ch general chance to hit, I guess. I'll hold on to that. Oh, that's one of these jerks too. Um, what are you? I think you're a weak against light. But you're not happy with light at the very least. enough for a level up. That gives us a charger. Wait, is that? <gasps> Come here, I mean, Billy, what are you doing here? Wait, Lee, what are you doing? Shh. What was that? We'll talk about this in a minute, Commander. Oh, looks like we found ourselves a friend named Lix for some reason. Uh, let's just set things on fire, shall we? Oh, um, you have a weapon? You do not appear to have a weapon. Okay, so... Alright. If, uh, if I target an enemy that that is already dead, it's just gonna target someone else. Good. But first, let's use a potion. Gives us a potion, a charger, and a double A battery. All right, Lee. I don't know how you know who I. First, you're pronouncing my my name wrong. Second, everyone in the galaxy knows who you are. Except for humans, you're an alien. Blah blah blah. I'm used to this stuff. How do you pronounce your name? I just always thought it was Lee. There are two X's in Licks, and while it's while it sound I guess leaks probably. While it sound while it might sound like we uh, are we seriously talking about spelling and aliens? It's fun, right? Right, Commander. I have to ask, whose side are you on here? The hell is that supposed to mean? I just saved you from those guards. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. I was fine, and I've been monitoring you. You've been helping these people create a weapon. Damn it, they've been brainwashing me, using my mind. Also, stop calling me Commander. I'm done with that part of my life. Okay, then. So, what's going on? They're building a bioweapon. They? Who is they? 
I don't know. The Intergalactic Police of Vicnix sent me to monitor the situation. We don't really know who's behind this. Oh crap, we better stop them. I'm not supposed to even speak with you. You're, you're a suspect. Plus, this is just a recon mission. I'm a suspect? Someone is framing me? What are you trying to arrest me? It's recon. I'm just investigating. Recon or not, I'm stopping this thing and I will not be blamed for its creation. You can either trust me and come with me, or you can continue on your own. After we kill those guards, there will be no, there will no doubt be sending everything else. You will need a hand. I guess I'll trust you. Let's go. I mean, after all, you are Commander Keen. Hardly. I lost my pogo stick. We got some plot going. Lab mod helmet. And a fight. Uh, let's use weapon. Uh, D shot. Oh, that was neat. That was super neat, actually. Potion. Lab mod helmet. Okay, um, so we currently have 45520. 10, 15, 15, 15, 15, two slots. So we lose a bit of, of uh, light uh, defense, but we get defense everywhere else. Also, we are going to need to put this double A battery and leaks here. Can't equip a battery. You get an Earl Stoner as well as well as. Uh, the old commander's Packer helmet. Interesting. So I guess if uh, once I uh, use a battery, I can't reuse it somewhere else. Is that what I'm getting? That's a bit lame if that's the case, but uh, sure. Can I sort items? Apparently not. Either that or there's a... Uh... Okay, no, I can't sort it. Alright, that's probably an exit. Also, I just realized... Oh, jeez. Ah! No! Okay, so, so, that, uh, so that attack um, uses my entire battery. <laughs> and also, the active time battle was still happening, so Commander Keen died and didn't get any, any experience. Also, I didn't pick up any of those items. This is going great. Okay, so I cannot... Uh... So... Therese, do I just... Can I just use a potion for that? Yes, okay. Potion is good enough to bring back someone from... a knocked out state. But I also notice here that um, since I, okay, so I used, I must have used up the entire battery, like just completely discharged it and broke it. So now we just don't have any batteries. Right.
Hey TGH, how you doing? I mean, th this game was made in 2012, so I yeah, give it at least a little bit of leeway. I mean, th this was, uh, and really, it's it's still uh, it still is not too bad, honestly. Like that, there, there's there's a decent amount here. That's gonna level up uh, no one actually. I wasn't counting correctly. And that's gonna be an exit. It's the closest to a new Commander Keen aside from that mobile game you just saw. Existed is the correct word there. I don't think it was ever released actually. It was definitely like there was some hype behind it, but I don't think it ever came out. Okay, so using a luck plus and an act plus um, is a net gain for both stats. Good to know. Oh. Oh, you haven't you haven't made a Mega Six game? I mean, other than obviously, uh, you've I know you've participated in a couple of uh, uh, BKZXs. And goodness knows, at least your ZZZ games are on point. Also another patrol orb and we don't have a battery. We're just gonna have to take this out the old fashioned way. Come on. Come on, jeez. Oh, nice crit. Now we got a charger. Well, we don't have any uh, any good batteries right now, so that's not going to do us very very much good at the moment. But uh, both uh, both billion leaks leveled up off of that. It's our uh, port of cyber purge. Now working on something that will be a hundred percent unstreamable. Oh dear. Uh oh, this is another decon chamber. Why does everything here need to be so damn clean? To answer your question, Billy, this is very delicate business that needs constant quality control. Uh, where... What is this thing? Leaks, you all right? Yeah, but what? Keeping you healthy was of paramount import. Uh, it was of paramount interest, Leaks. Intergalactic Police Lieutenant of Planet Vicnix. We needed a sample of Vicnix DNA to complete the first test, and you took our bait. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What are you doing down here? Who are you? You stupid bitch! This isn't a Bond movie. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to kill you. What? Is it getting hard to breathe in here, Keen? You're poisoning us? Seriously, Lee, man. Fool, I'm poisoning the police officer, Commander. I'm just going to have the robot kill you. Robot? This poison doesn't affect anything but the Vicnix, and I still want to watch you die, so we'll just kill you with a robot. Oh boy, here comes the robo wall. And me without a weapon. And it's got the punch of this thing to smithereens. And sure enough, Leeks is, um, 
Nix's health is deteriorating, so I'm gonna have uh, Billy here use a potion. I mean, I mean, uh, old Billy here has been through a conundrum or two, but uh, this, this is getting a little serious. That's a lot of stuff. And that is a level up for both of our party members. I'm just going to grab everything on the menu. Oh god, they actually destroyed the robot! Everyone get out! Initiate mer emergency destruct sequence! Leaks, are you alright? Ah. Uh, Oh, poison never hurt anyone, right? Let's get those bastards. First, let's get this potion. Also, I'm not seeing a uh, any sort of uh, time limit here, so I'm just gonna take a second. See if there's anything that we can possibly interact with. I don't think there is. I thought I pressed the button. So I'm guessing that there is a limit to how much storage we have. So we're gonna need to use some items here. I appreciate this game's effort to put all ages this all ages char game character in a situation the original series would never put him in. This shit gets real and how he deals with it, yeah. Okay, so I think the, um, I think how it's set up here is that if you fight a low-level enemy, you don't get any experience, so that you can't just grind off of the, the low-level trash. Damn it, child! I knew there was going to be a pro uh, problem when, the minute they picked up this place. I knew that using you would end like this. Oh, just shut up and step away from that thing. Leaks, what is that? It's a bomb. What? I didn't even know the bioweapon was done already. Why didn't you tell me? It isn't done, Commander. This is just a regular... No one will survive within two miles, Commander. Looks like it's game over for all of us, Commander. Let's kill these assholes. Oh, there's the timer. Now with... Especially if I'm gonna miss, this might be a problem with uh, with no zappy zaps. Okay, there goes one. 
Not liking my odds here, though. Ah, and then I missed. much of a fan of the uh oh god I pressed the button and it didn't there we go yeah I'm not too much of a fan of the uh active time battle here I do kind of like the timing thing but sometimes it just loses an input and that's no good we do have Billy Blaze Zero, and hello. Is chat being captured? Uh, it sure isn't. I guess I needed to. Actually, it should be. That's weird. Let's refresh this. Okay. I must have uh, I must have started the uh, the chat thing before I started OBS. It's silly. Anyway, let's just grab this stuff. Probably use a potion or two because uh, that was a little rough. Don't know if you know. Billy Blaze too hard. Oh crap, there's no way I have time to figure out to figure out this interface and decode the SGA in time. I gotta try. Commander, we've gotta get out of here. If it'll only destroy the school, we've gotta go. Being with me the being with bacon mega rock is on the roof. You go, I'll try to disarm it. Command Billy, you don't have enough time. We've gotta go. Damn it, I know people at the school. I can't live with. Let's go. Oh, geez. It's still the same timer as. Oh, no. Cannot run? Well, that's a problem. I think we're dead, guys. I haven't saved all game. Well, at least now I have a better understanding of how this game works. And also, anyone who got here late is going to be able to see a little more here. Also, Zero, since uh, since you weren't here. So here's the golden V that we got from the Vorticons. And also, the little York dude that we got from the first game. So yeah, there is this decon thing, which I'm pretty sure is just knockout gas. Yeah, 
GGH, thank you for the follow. I am going to um, <clears throat> blaze through this a little bit because we've already done all of this. Uh, that's the wrong button. But yeah, there, there's also like a bunch of cheats in this game which hopefully we won't end up having to use. did pick my words carefully for, for that statement, yes. I mean, at, at least it's not the uh, the standard misspelling of like gold. Now. And just as previously, we got a second stunner, which is uh, meant for leaks. This enemy is in all caps while the others are written normally. I didn't realize that, actually. Also, the limitations in 2012 for uh, what you can really do for FMVs. That's the wrong button. I want to press F2 to save. Like, that, that is the logical key for saving for me. Funky monkey vomit. I uh, should probably use that potion. Now I know that uh, what I really want to do here is get that uh, that spider tank out of the way first. And the spider tank is currently on fire. Well, that is currently on dead. Now we can do FMV in better ways and it's properly documented how to do it. How time flies. Ow. There's a little preemptive in that attack there.
the Commander Keen comes so fucking metal, yeah! Yeah, that's pretty, pretty rad music, honestly. Also, I kind of understand now how the um, the charge system works because, like, when you're when you're using the weapon, it's not so much that you're um, that you have to press space to shoot; it's you hold space to shoot, and you still want that cursor to be as much in the middle as possible so that you have a more accurate shot. Hey Dizzy, how you doing? Uh, I should probably use a charger actually. So we have some uh, some pew pew power to work with. Let's set you on fire. Eventually. There we go. Yes, yeah, so let's uh w welcome to Let's Play the World Live. We're, we're doing some some blazing here and uh, I'm skipping through some of this dialogue because um I kind of ended up losing to Bomb. But uh the short version is this uh this lab's been working on a bioweapon. Uh, this Leaks girl is with the Intergalactic Police. And, um, we're being enlisted as Commander Keen once again. Yeah, that's what happened last time. Because we have this AAA battery that we can give to Leaks now. Dead. Ah. Again, I want to press F2 to save. I don't know why it's F3. Charger, the lab mod helmet, which we'll go ahead and put right now. So I still don't have anything for these slots whenever they are. They're they're probably like a similar concept to material is what I'm figuring. And now I know not to uh, to use my destructive uh, my destructive attacks unless I have to. Yeah, the, the cursor is a little hard to uh, to control as well, unfortunately. It's easy to like overshoot things because there is a limited debouncing happening, if any really.
I started playing this at one point, but uh, it's one of those things where I'm like, this is neat. I should play more of this, and then I didn't. So I'm doing it now. And a non mix of Shin Megami Tensei comp composition and Celeste weird shit is happening, music instrumentation on the field music. Yeah, I I didn't see what you I, I'm even like the uh the battle music because of it uh Shin Megami Tensei. Alright, let's try to not die here. Some of these potions of one. Lots of big teams, and I'm not a fan of that. Uh, let's use weapon fire on this guy. Get fire on the red one, I guess. That seems like a bad idea. Come on, there we go. Man, you will not go down. What is your deal? What is your deal? Holy crap. Hang on. Uh, weapon. Ice. On you. Ugh. I think that missed. Uh, potion. Billy. Nice. You. There. You're dead. Ah! Uh, potion. Uh, leaks. I feel like this is going substantially worse than it was previously, but also like the last time I was uh, fighting a big party like this, I just use my big attack and it destroys the battery. I would recommend not doing that unless you really need to. There's a crit. Okay, well that one died. I don't know why the other one didn't. Just super powered for some reason. Either that or, or I was doing something that was restoring itself? And wasn't cognizant of that? I don't know. Version 1. Here's another one of these super power ones here. There we go. No experience, thanks.
Oh boy. I've been real rough on these fights now. Come on, there we go. Um, ice on you. Oh, that was effective. Looks like leaks all up. An ice rat. I imagine throwing fire at the ice rat is probably a good idea. Probably not a bad idea, honestly, to use a couple of chargers. Since we know we're heading into a boss battle here. And then I didn't save. Oh well. We've made it through this boss before, at least. Who knows, maybe I can save during a cutscene. That would... That's probably not a thing that I can do. No, it is not. So the poison that they're putting into this tube here is something that only affects leaks. So you see your health going down. Uh, it's fire light, I guess. Ah. Uh, Oh, that, yeah, now I see. That had, that had green numbers, so we healed it. That's probably what was happening before. Oh, I wanted to use that potion on leaks. Oh, I... Well, now nah, it's too late. Unfortunately, that means she's not going to get any experience from this fight. Which is real not great, but uh, that's where we are, I guess. So to reiterate for anyone who wasn't here, uh, you can only bring back a party member uh, outside of battle. Okay, so yes, yeah, so we can use these. Um, we got light, ice, and fire. This is really kind of a fire weapon, so let's fire it up, I guess. Fire it up. Someone call for an exterminator. Uh, we can have... I'll give her a light, I guess. So there is a keen RPG, yes, and we are playing it currently. Um, this is absolutely not something that came out of its software. This is a fan project.
I don't like how Leeks is um, three levels behind at this point. Ah! Yes, uh, another point to reiterate um, for anyone who wasn't here at- what? That was a hit. For anyone who wasn't here at the beginning, um, it, it's something that I've been lacking uh, in this era of Let's Play the World is playing a Megazook game. I have not done so uh, in this era, so that's why we're here. So now, th now we got this bomb here. And I probably should have used a charger before going into this fight, but I'm going to make sure to use it on the correct person. A charger 2 is probably a little overkill, honestly. I'm also going to make sure not to use the, uh, the attack that just destroys my battery because we don't have a replacement. Ah! Oh, we need potion. What? Well, there we go. Yeah, the magic system, well, quote unquote magic system in this is a little, um, a little finicky. Temperamental, I guess, is the word that I want to use. Oh, uh, don't have no charge. There we go. Yeah, and this time we have substantially more time to work with, because I think it is based on how much time you had left at the end of the fight. Because that countdown that was happening during the fight is still happening. And uh, Keen tells uh, Leeks to head over to the beam with Bacon Mega Rocket. And Leeks convinces Billy to uh, also make it to the rocket because we need to get out of here. And you do not have the time to, um, to disarm this bomb. Oh dear. I'd love to see a remake of this with like proper, um, like redone cutscenes. Anyway, here we are at new content. Well, class is cancelled. Can't believe it. I failed Earth again. Commander. Billy. For God's sake, it's Billy. Commander Keen is just some kind of mythical hero, and I'm just some huck of crap that can't do anything for the world anymore. You know what, Commander? You did just save the lives of the entire planet. They weren't planning on just blowing up the school. The weapon they were building was on a scale that I couldn't even comprehend. You stopped it. They wouldn't have even set off a bomb on Earth if I didn't provoke them. Now... Now all my friends, my... I've got to figure out what's going on. 
You mind making a stop by the Vorcon High Command? I have, uh, friends there. They might be able to help. Vorticons? The Vic Nicks and them have a history, but why not? Let's go. I might also still have some friends on Nasca's 4. We can try both places. Oh, now we get to pick. Interesting. Also, I like the little distortion effect that, like, is this is not something that I pointed out, but, like, this distortion has been happening, like, in battle and all that, and it is simply, like, flickering, um, flickering Super Megazooks mode on and off, and it's really quite effective. I think it's also changing the text to, uh, to Standard Galactic. Alright, uh, so we have all these options, but um, the uh, ones that we've been told are particularly useful are Vorticon 6 and Gnostic uh, 4. So which one shall we be going to, chat? I will leave that choice to you. Uh, Vorcon 6 is the first thing that, uh, that Keen said, yes. Zero says, uh, Vorticon 6. Anyone else? For, for a reminder of what these areas are, uh, what these areas are in the uh, scope of uh, Keen. Uh, Vorticon 6, I believe Keen 3 happens there, and Gnosticus 4... I don't know if it's Gnosticus or Gnosticus, but whatever. I might use them interchangeably, but that's where Keen 4 is. I mean, you can still say Gnosticus 4. Adrian Carmack, in particular, hated working on Commander Keen because he preferred to work on dark, grisly games, and the infamous Easter Egg in Doom 2 was his way of getting revenge for having. Oh. I see. I mean, that, that does kind of fit as MO, let's be real. Tyrion's vote is ambiguous. Anyone else vote? Vorticon 6. Let's go. Home of the dog-like Vorticons, this planet suffered a massive civil war after the Grand Intellect was overthrown and their newly elected leader was assassinated. Commander Keen implicated and arrest arrested Mortimer McMire for the assassination, and the planet has since settled into a more stable state. It has an inn and a shop. Not just flickering in and out of Super Megazus, but it's flickering between English and SGA. Yeah, I, I had I had pointed that out as well. Yeah, but it is it is a neat effect for for sure. You should probably go on without me. The Vicnicks and Vorticons have a past. Oh, really? Now the Vorticons have had a rough couple of decades, leads. And nobody knows that better than the Vicnicks. We sent in peacekeeping troops after their leader was assassinated 17 years ago. But you know that. You found the guy that did it, didn't you? I didn't realize he sent in troops. I guess I left a little too quickly. 
After the Civil War broke out, we had no choice but to leave and hope that they could figure things out on their own. They ended up cursing our name. It's a good thing that you found out that, that the Grand Intellect was behind the assassination. Yeah, good thing I did. And go and talk to the guy about the thing. Ah, uh, you're, you're good, TJ. I guess uh, even if she's not with us, we can still uh, can still stay at night and restore both uh, characters, which also restores the battery, which I appreciate. I got this phone. Can I use that? No. Also, a little uh, SGA by the door there probably says in. I think the like was posted on the door is high. Plug the battery into the outlet while they sleep. Straight into the outlet. Not sure what this says. I feel like I'm gonna have to get out a, uh, a translation key in order to. Maybe that's his bar. Because I'm pretty sure that Bill character is an A. It isn't Commander Keen. You buy your drink. I can't talk to the bartender. Uh, Commander, it's been a while. The middle letter is backward. Unfortunate. Uh, shop? I get the feeling that you don't own enough guns, Commander. Something gives me the feeling that you own too many. Sure, we've got something you're looking for. Oof, thousand credits for this. The standard helm. Uh, everyone's got their uh, their SGA keys. Those all lined up. This looks like obviously the place to be. Hello, Commander. I suppose you've heard about the recent uprising. Yeah, Vodacons that are still loyal to the Grand Intellect are making some noise lately. This chair looks pretty comfortable. Hello. Ah. Made from the remnants of a thousand teddy bears, Commander. Is it not exquisite? Vodacon seems to be doing pretty well lately, High Commander. You guys have made a, made a pretty big turnaround since the last time I was here. Get out of my chair, Commander. Last time you showed up, a civil war started. You can imagine how, why I might be a little uncertain of your intentions now. I caught the man that started the entire thing. I'm not here to overthrow the, the government or to bullshit with you. I just want some information from a friendly source. Did you bring any Earth and Teddy Bears? No, wait, what? You realize that I'm like 28 now. Uh, never mind. You came with questions. I just destroyed a facility that seemed to be making biological weapons. It seems like their target is the, inter the intergalactic police of Vicmix. They're brainwashing me to work on it. Interesting. This is the first I've heard about a plot to overthrow Vicmix. Also interesting, a massive weapon killed and uh, killed nearly the entire Shikati species not long ago. The Shikati were attacked? Man, how did you hear all this? We've only heard about it secondhand. I've never even seen a Shikati, much less spoken to them. 
pretty hard to see or speak to. They're typically invisible and are total pricks, so talking to them is pretty hard. You say they are all but wiped out? I'd estimate about 0.002% of the population has left alive. Roughly 10,000 left. It was a system of bombs in their planet's crust that had been that had been there for 20 years, and nobody seems to know who activated them and destroyed the planet. I'd be willing to bet the same people are, that attacked the Shikari are behind this. The last question I've been having trouble with is why they were on Earth. What does Earth have that other planets don't, Commander? Me? Hence the brainwashing. Goodbye, Commander. Interesting. Don't stay too long, Commander. Vorticons are still badly divided. Duly noted. So this isn't just about some bio weapon. They they want us. Uh, they want us specifically, apparently. The Shikari got hit by the same weapon being made on Earth. The Shikari. The Vicniks are always worried about them. I never met one personally. A few people have. I just can't seem to see how the annihilation of the Shikadi has anything to do with the plot to destroy the Vicniks' police. You knew the Shikadi, right? The Shikadi and I aren't exactly on good terms. They tried to blow up my galaxy once. Some would say that's motive. Do you still not trust me, Lynx? Well, I know you're not the culprit behind the bioweapon on Earth. That's good enough for right now. What we need to do now is warn the Vicnix police about this plot. How long will it take us to get to Vicnix? My ship, my ship ain't very fast. It probably takes something like three months at the Mega Rocket's top speed. I guess we need to soup up your ride then. There's an, in there's an engine building facility in the Fribulus Zax. We can probably find something there. That probably says land. Do hello. Um, so Fribula Sax is uh, where Keen Six happens, I believe. Also, I can't save on the screen, I guess. Hydration achieved, and now it is time to stretch. Now is the time on Sparkets where we, when we stretch. Oh, geez, what did I step on there? It was a bit of cookie. You want to clean that up late, later? Oh. Uh, uh. I mean, stretching is not a bad idea, honestly. I recommend that you stretch at home as well. Anyway, since you weren't here, this is Commander Keen Heroes Lost. It is a fan-made uh, Commander Keen RPG game. Fabulous Axe. Home planet of the Bloog and Fleeks. The Bloog being extremely dull and the Fleeks being the ruling class on the planet. Keen went to the Zax to save his babysitter 20 years ago, and has since been sought out by the Bloog. Also, the Zax is the, the location of the intergalactic prison where the Grand Intellect is held. Has a chip collector and a weapons upgrade shop. Still not the save key. Keen child, we don't forget. You should die. Oh boy. You and the blues have a history, I suppose? Let's talk more kill. Uh, actually... Uh, weapon. Light on this guy. Come on. Come on. 
Okay, that was kind of lame, honestly. Fire. Let's go. Uh, weak to ice, I guess. Let's use ice then. Ah. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the weapon system on this. Like, I don't know if, if I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if it's. I'll check the help after uh, after this fight. See if there's something I can figure out out of that. Yeah, this is a very different game. This is a fan game that uh, that was made in Megazooks. Speed that up and Meeks levels up. So what was that all about? Mortimer McMire. The rest of the galaxy know, knows him as the Grand Intellect. I know who the Grand Intellect is. What, what was he doing here? He tricked the Blues and the Fleekses from this planet into kidnapping my babysitter. It was actually just a distraction from his real plan. I guess it's only fitting that he serve his sentence for, assa for assa assassinating the Vorticon High Commander here. Yeah, only fitting. Speaking of, where's my pogo stick? He actually explicitly states that he lost his pogo stick. <laughs> everyone's health. Um, charger. I think both of our characters could use a potion. Oh no, not an assassination. Yeah, and I forgot to check the help to see if, like, there's something that I need to do to try to center that, uh, that cursor a little more. That took way too long. I feel like there needs to be a better system to uh, miss less. Uh, Leaks levels up, Keen levels up. 11 hours? It doesn't sound like very much. Weapon attack, let's see. Select missile and bring up a second display. Fire, ice, light, and D-shot. D-shot is non-elemental, does huge damage and kills batteries. Hold that up here and press space in the middle. So it doesn't say like doesn't say anything about having to be like having to like press left or right to move it more toward the middle. Sleeping schedule is more normal in January, gotcha. 
when you are in uh, in Germany after all. So do take care of yourself. That is the most important thing. I can make a weapon? What? I mean, I can't afford this, but this is cool that I can do it. Ah, kid. Enjoy your life. 40 years of Vicknick's police work has, hasn't left me with much. Enjoy life. Definitely missed. I keep wanting to like press right away. Oh, crit. There we go. It's a fair amount of experience though. I feel like we might be a little under level for this place. Because uh, Leeks just got uh, pretty close to another level there. This potion run first. I think this is this might be the same rope that uh, Keen used in Keen Six. Ooh. Got an A cell. Those are pretty rare, you know. Also, I guess I could have given uh, Leaks a double A earlier. This guy. There we And A batteries exist, they're just extremely rare. Uh, they're, I don't know that they're really used anywhere nowadays. Who would have thought that the door to the prison is locked?
This is the building. Damn, locked and chained up. Maybe there's something still in there. We're gonna need something to bust this door down if we want to find out. And so that's where we're at right now. We gotta find a way to get into this uh, this building so we can upgrade our ship and uh, try to get to Lichnix. But that will be for after the break. And apparently my face is there, which it shouldn't be on the call screen, but whatever. Y'all can take a moment, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And at about 10 to 15 minutes, it's clobbering time. I'll see you in a bit.